How's it going, everybody? It's Sandwich Pants here today, and uh, I want to go over a thing that I just thought about. Um, or I thought about a little bit ago. I was going over Biden's infrastructure bill and had a thought, and listening to AOC and thinking of critiques of her for this, uh, I came up with an idea. So, here's the two part the critique and the idea. All right? Are we ready? Uh, take a second and. Uh, Get yourself a drink. Maybe you're going to need to sit down to hear the uh, the plan. So I'll give you everybody just like 10 seconds to get a drink, get a, a bowl, or get a snack, whatever, you know. Okay. AOC talking about the... Uh, uh, child detention overflow facility or whatever the overflow facility for unaccompanied minors that Biden has and, and the other places that are being used to house these minors AOC is criticizing this in the wrong way I think she's not actually even criticizing it the way I would prefer her. she criticize it um what she's doing is kind of giving cover for Biden a little bit. I mean, yeah, it, they're not ripping babies from the arms of mothers and stuff. But her critique, and I understand she doesn't want to draw false equ equivalents here, but the critique is a little uh, uh, weak and a little weaselly sounding, in my opinion. She should be saying, this isn't the right way to go about it. We can come up with other ways to do it. Now, as I was saying, I actually had an idea for this. So, what if we actually... We're proactive in this endeavor. Now hear me out. Hear me out. We have a lot of uh, undocumented immigrants in the country, from my understanding. Not like a huge, overwhelming number, but we have quite a few, right? And uh, we've got an agency that's supposed that's you know constantly looking for them to round them up and stuff. Uh, uh, they're being used as a uh, uh, undocumented labor that could uh, undercut working class people. That uh, the reason that their wages are lower is because they don't really have a say. If uh, they step out of line or they don't work as hard as uh, the boss wants them to, then they can get deported because the boss can just call ICE and go, I have reason to believe that this guy's an undocumented worker, blah, 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 blah. They're paid under the table. There's a whole lot of issues with the with the system. That There's issues, okay? We, we have to acknowledge that. The solution isn't cut off immigration. No, that'll damage economies, ours and other countries as well. Like, that that's ridiculous. Fuck off with that. We also have a current surge, and there's a lot of unaccompanied minors. So, what can we do? Because, I mean, we've got... we got undocumented people that are living here that uh, some of them are out of work. You know, some of them are mothers who don't generally work. Uh, or they do work, but they're having trouble maintaining decent hours and shit like that. These people want to be U.S. citizens. The people who come here don't want to just come here, work for a bit, and dip out, as far as I'm aware. Evidence does not seem to point in that direction. Well, we've also got this surge of migrants. We got families here, people who speak the, the language that a lot of these children are speaking, that, that are native, to uh, their native tongue. And we got all these kids. We got the we got these families. We got these kids. So why don't we offer a kind of program to where these uh, undocumented families and stuff they can go through some sort of vetting process or whatever under the uh, promise that they are not going to be deported for coming forth and shit like that. They can go through a sort of like vetting process or whatever needs to be done to make people feel more secure about it. And then they can start fostering some of these children until they're either old enough to work on their own and stuff like that, or until a family wants to sponsor them and take them on, somebody wants to actually adopt them and take care of them. There's a whole bunch of different mechanisms that can be used, but uh, while they are doing this uh, kind of fostering program, I guess, for these children, they are working, quote-unquote, their way towards a citizenship. Like, you, you could get them citizenship because it'd be more beneficial for everybody at that rate. And then when the children are processed into the uh, foster system under these 
uh, migrants or these undocumented uh, uh, people, they're then, A, documented. That, that'd be a thing because they come forward for a foster process. So they, they're, they're then on record that they're in the country. They can work their way towards citizenship, and the uh, undoc- or the uh, unaccompanied migrants that are here can actually get processed and eventually given, like, citizenship as well. So that they're not just in this ambiguous state. If they're here for, like, seven years, they're supposed to be made citizens anyways. But if they get taken up by this uh, foster system thing... They should be made into U.S. citizens so that they can grow up with a social security number and all this, all the other benefits and stuff. They can go to schools. They can benefit from this and that. The uh, and it would it would I think it would benefit everybody. We could uh, set a we could hire on as, as the government. They could hire on more people to do uh, uh, good processing and uh, specifically for the migrants, uh, uh, the undocumented or the un- unaccompanied children and the undocumented people that process. You know. Uh, 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 go through their registration or whatever for the foster system and uh, process them with uh, minors, you know, process the minors and then pair them up. We, we could set up a whole government system just to be able to do things like that. And it, it would allow people, it would facilitate immigration way easier. We can just get rid of ICE and facilitate people coming to the country easier. Um, this is a solution that I figured somebody like AOC would be smart enough to come up with. I don't know the logistics of exactly how it would work, like economically and stuff like that. We could figure out kinds of impacts and stuff. But from everything I've been able to deduce by studying the, or by looking over studies of uh, immigration and the impacts on the economy and all the, all the other shit like that, it seems to be that the immigrants coming here just benefit us. So why not just let them have a good, easy time getting here? We can treat them well. And uh, we can boost standards of living for everybody. If they're sending money back to their home fucking country, so the fuck what? It boosts the standard of living down there. It makes them less impoverished. That money comes back to us when they buy goods from us anyways. So I think we're solid, all right? I think we've got plenty going on that we could do to uh, benefit people moving here easier. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous that we have people who are so gung-ho about things like a border wall that we can't even think of simple solutions to incorporate people into our country to make them happier, to make them more productive, to... I mean, this would do a lot for even, like, the the conservative worry and stuff. Like, we got all these undocumented people who we don't know who they are and stuff. Well, this would get some of them documented, and they'd be under the promise that they wouldn't get deported. Now, I know the government's promises are a little iffy on that, but if we actually maintain and hold strong to this fucking principle and this uh, program is actually working really well, then th- they don't get deported and people can facil- it facilitates the, 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 the uh, uh, overflow processing and everything so much easier. Like it, I think it'd be fairly easy to do, okay? <clears throat> Personally. I mean, not like super easy, but it's a... It's easy to come up with the solution. It's harder to implement it, you know? So, uh, oh, uh, that essentially that's that on this particular thing. If you like this little video, then uh, like, comment, subscribe, and do all the other stuff, and uh, enjoy. Uh, follow me on Twitch at Daniel, or at uh, uh, twitch.com slash sandwichpants, or switch to, switch.com twitch.tv slash sandwich pants